election was actually pushed by Bretton Woods institutions that are very developed nations where the, the income per capita was high, where there exists for their countries. This system of education that we previous, previously had, Madam Speaker, 844, was rated that Kenya is offering the best education in the world. All of a sudden, the Britain Woods institutions and our former colonizers realized that we were catching up with them. And what do we do to mess up Africa and mess up this country called Kenya? They introduced a system to cause confusion, killed our trajectory to success in education by bringing in CBC. But that's why I say that because if you want to finish a nation, mess up with the education system, and everyone else will be confused forever. Madam Speaker, look at the countries that have succeeded. France, Canada, name them. South Africa, our neighbors in Africa here, tried CPC for 12 years, and it collapsed. Madam Speaker, I want to declare that now, nine years down the line, CBC in Kenya is facing a crisis more than the economic crisis that we are facing, and it is due to collapse. How is it going to collapse, Madam Speaker? Schools have opened. JCC are in school. JSS are in school. They are not being taught. Why? One teacher that we recruited is even yet to report. The other primary school teachers in that school are not willing to attend because what is the requirement for you to teach in a high school? One, you must have a, C, a mean grade of C plus at form four, and you must have a mean, mean grade of C plus in two teaching subjects. So the, most of the primary school teachers do not meet that qualification, and therefore they have no business to teach the JSS in their schools, leaving one teacher to operate like a robot who cannot be able to you know, cover the entire curriculum of 14 subjects. What does that mean, mean, Madam Speaker? It is a collapse. It's a collapse. Even the fact that members of parliament are saying, let's wait. For how long does the JSS students who are now in primary wait until they are taught? If, one, if we employed about 30,000 teachers, and it is not even enough to, to teach in all our uh, JSS classes in my constituency, a school called Yatja, up to today we are here, they don't have a JSS, similar to another one called Kosile, and many others who did not get, because the numbers were not enough. Madam Speaker, what is it called that? It is called a collapse. And CBC must be stopped now by this country so that we can be able to bring back what is right for our children. Madam Speaker, if you, look at, if you look at the number of teachers that are required, if 30,000 keep us one teacher, you require to recruit 150,000 teachers now to cover the CBC. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible, but we don't have the resources. If we don't have the resources to employ the teachers, CBC collapses. Therefore, this system is destined to die in the next few days in our schools. Madam Speaker, I also want to say the preparedness of our teachers who are supposed to offer the JSS curriculum is not there. So what does that mean, Madam Speaker? You have class eight with uh, torn throws, uh, shots and uh, poorly kept, and you have a JCC where they are now, JSS where they are now demanding school fees. Where do we get that, Madam, Madam Speaker? It tells you what is the way forward that we can do this now. Instead of creating a country... Your time is up. The Deputy Majority Leader.